I am a proud 73-year-old American. Retired Army veteran Tony Cumberworth stands beside... They're not going to take it away. ...and behind the American flag posted in his yard. It's been there for 20 years. It's been there 20 years and nobody has ever said a word. Not until this week when a violation notice arrived. First, ridiculous. Then I got insulted. I fall for this country. My son fall for this country. I do not understand them trying to take away my rights. The Weatherstone Homeowners Association told Cumberworth he had four days to remove his flag and pole, otherwise he would be fined $50 a day. I'm not paying it. Cumberworth combed the bylaws and the covenant. Nowhere is there anything about a flag. So we set out to find HOA members and ask for an answer. Some members weren't home to answer. Others simply said they didn't have one. We're contacted by Mr. Cumberworth, who lives a few doors down. Okay. Um, are you aware that they've asked him to remove his flag? No, I'm not aware of that. Cumberworth's neighbors say if there were complaints about his flag, they didn't come from them. I don't understand if the flagpole has been in 20 years. Who is the man affecting? I'm, I'm lost for words. If you live in America, you should stand behind the American flag. Which is just what Cumberworth says he's done in every home he's ever had. From California to Alabama, there's always been a flag in the yard. And he says Georgia will be no different. Uh, this is America. And uh, nobody can tell me that I'm not allowed to show my patriotism. Shortly after we left the neighborhood, we received a call from Mr. Cumberworth. It seems while we were interviewing him, the HOA sent him an email reversing their position. It read, please disregard the code violation notice. It was sent to your home in error. We truly thank you for your service in Vietnam and your American flag can stay in your yard as long as you desire.